Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast for May 20 through the 26th. This is going to be a general reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to see what's coming up for you Virgos for the week ahead. And see what we can expect to see happening. As always guys, this is going to be a general reading focusing on spirituality, money, career, family life, personal life. I tend to do the love reading separately, although I have to say a lot of the signs have had a lot of love messages coming up for the week. So we'll see what happens here. But if you do want more details on love and romance, I have a link in the description of the video that will take you to the love videos. Uh, you've got change coming up, Virgo, for your Monday, Tuesday. And there's a certain element of this card here that makes me feel like there may even be a move for some of you. Some of you may be moving or getting ready to move or finding out that you're going to have to move. So like say maybe you've been living somewhere, you may be getting a word that, oh, well, you know, like we're going to have to have you move because, I don't know, the place is not up to code or we're selling it or whatever it might be. So some of you may be receiving news. <clears throat> That you're going to be moving or that you're having to move. Not necessarily. This is a general reading. It's going to be different for different ones of you. Some of you are wanting to kind of go out on your own and find a new place to get settled in. Okay, because uh, that nine for me, nine is a number of spiritual awakening. So some of you might be feeling like you're kind of outgrowing your current friends or your current circle or just where you've been. Uh, maybe you were complacent for a very long time and now you're just hungry for change. Some of you are deliberately setting out for change. Some of you are feeling like I'm ready for a change. So you're going out in search of something more. Okay, it's going to be different for different ones of you. I feel that uh, some of you are even like going through wanting to clear out stuff. Like, you know, doing a really deep spring cleaning. You're getting rid of, uh, you know, anything that reminds you of an unpleasant time in your life. Or anything that's reminding you of relationships that you would rather forget. There's some kind of change that's happening. I just heard a state sell. I'm not sure why. But maybe some of you are selling off an estate. Maybe some of you had inherited certain things um, after somebody passed away that you've been holding on to. And now you're like, you know what, I'm ready to part ways with it. I know that these objects are not, you know, containing my loved one um or you know or maybe some of you had inherited property that you were holding on to out of a sense of obligation like oh, okay well i inherited it so i have to hold on to it and i don't want the family to look down on me or whatever and some of you might just be like no it's time to clear that energy it's time to part ways with it but i just feel this energy of like lightening the load right like you're just lightening your load and for a lot of you it has to do with parting ways with objects and possessions and maybe even property but overall it's moving and changing in a new direction okay some of you i feel like are even wanting to kind of travel abroad so you may be like looking into selling things off or trying to figure out a way to retire early or just looking for ways of bringing in more income so that you can do something where you're traveling where you are uh, getting to see different parts of the world and have these different experiences that are going to be very eye-opening for you and helping you to grow, okay? Your Wednesday, Thursday, Virgo, is main male, all right? So for some of you, there could be a lover energy that's coming in. For some of you, this could even be like a best friend, a partner in crime, or a wingman, so to speak, okay? Um, some of you are feeling like you're coming out on top. You're coming out on top. You are either you're the main male or you're attracting this main male. There's some alpha energy here. There's some mischief here. <laughs> there's a, you know, th there's, there's passion, there's fun. Uh, so I do feel that a lot of you are manifesting a very significant soulmate. Okay. For some of you, you don't want sex you don't want 
romance, right? So for some of you, this could be a friendship. Uh, but I think that for many of you, you are manifesting a very significant uh, past life lover or past life, um, you know, soulmate type partner with a very strong romantic connection. But we have free will. Okay, and so you get to decide the order that you're putting in. You get to decide what you're requesting for the universe to bring your way. I feel this person is really helping you start over or start something new. Okay, that one is jumping out at me. Uh, you know, just being in this energy that you were already coming out of wanting to have change, wanting something fresh. And so you are manifesting someone that's going to be a significant part of that. Some of you may have left a relationship and now you're taking a leap into something new with a new person. Again, like I said, I'm not focusing too much on love, but love has been coming up in some of the readings and I am feeling a romantic energy around this card for for many of you. Your Friday, Saturday and Sunday Virgo is journey. You all are getting ready to travel. You all are getting ready to travel and leave some nonsense behind you. Okay? Um and and there's somebody Who's going to be doing it along with you. Okay. There's somebody who's going to be doing it along with you. Now if we look at the story here. Right. I just feel like. Ooh, I just feel like some of you are getting ready to simplify your life. You know like you're, you're shedding off the old layers. You're maybe even some of you are selling things. Right. And there's somebody that you're uh, encountering with and you are going on this journey and you are experiencing new parts of your life or of yourself. Some of you, the journey can be more spiritual than physical, but you seem to have somebody coming in that's kind of awakening uh, this uh, wanderlust in you or this desire to find yourself or this desire to, to search and to just kind of experience new experiences. Okay. Um, I want to say something for a word of caution because spirit is talking about it. And so they want you to know, um, some of you may be in a situation where you are speaking to somebody online, someone from abroad, like you might have, uh, a romantic interest or somebody that maybe you started chatting with as friends and so you may have been um ending up in a romantic connection now uh and so some of you might be tempted to kind of you know sell your things or plan to relocate to another country to be with this person or to go on this journey and for those of you who are in this situation spirit is asking you um, not to rush into doing anything major or permanent that way. You know, it may be a good idea to travel. It may be a good time to meet this person uh, or meet them in a neutral place. For example, um, there might be some countries that are uh, a little more dangerous to travel to than others. So you might want to kind of try to set things up to meet in a safer place or, or a country where it's safer to travel. But, you know, you may not want to hurry up and make permanent plans for somebody that maybe you don't know all that well just yet. Um, you know, find yourself first. Allow yourself to have these experiences, to travel, to have your enlightenment. And don't feel like you got to jump into settling in with somebody especially someone that maybe if you have not met them yet, there is a very significant soulmate connection here, right? <clears throat> but you have journeying yet to do. You have yet to find uh, certain aspects of yourself or finding yourself. And so spirit is asking you to, you know, take your time with all of that before jumping into like, well, I'm going to go move to this other country and I'm going to be with this person. Like easy there. Like let yourself get to know the person. Let yourself travel. Let yourself have these other experiences before you go making a permanent decision. Because I feel for a lot of you Virgos, there's a, a, a strong sense of enlightenment happening. Not all of you were talking to somebody overseas, but that was a message to come in for those of you who were. Virgo, for the majority of you, 
you, I really feel like you're creating this new sense of adventure in your life and you're, you're bringing in things that are more having a chance to put yourself first. Put yourself first. I think that some of you have been in some toxic situations where you were giving a lot but not getting a whole lot back. And so this is your time to just kind of find your freedom, find your voice, connect with your passions. Uh, some of you may even be doing some kind of soul retrieval work, maybe energy healing or like some kind of holistic therapy or working with a shaman or doing like, you know, uh, you know, like the spiritual drumming or things like that in which you're doing soul retrieval. Whatever the case, um, Virgo, I do feel like a lot of you are getting to hit that reset button and that there is some kind of, you know, uh, wingman or soulmate person that's going to come in and be a significant part of this for many of you, right? But before you jump into anything permanent, there's still more journeying to do. There's still more, you know, uh, things to find, things to experience, things to discover. And it's a very positive journey. It's the beginning of something very positive and enjoyable and eye-opening, Virgo. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you are getting ready to set sail for some, uh, you know, exciting adventures. I would definitely check uh, your moon sign and rising sign videos as well. Some weeks are going to resonate with you more than others. They may also bring in a little extra tidbits of information. You know, these are general readings, but when we watch our moon sign and rising sign, sometimes it makes it a little bit more personal because it's the other parts of the energies that are in our planetary makeup. So that can be very helpful as well. Obviously, I'm always available for private readings. There's a link in the description that'll take you to schedule a reading on Calendar if you wish to do that uh many 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 of you have been emailing lately tanya checks my messages and she's been showing me uh, certain ones that have been coming in where the weekly videos you guys have been letting me know are really really helping you or that you found that they've been very beneficial and i'm very happy to hear that guys some of you have even been apologizing like i feel bad that i'm watching the videos and i've never booked a reading with you and i've never donated to the channel and i don't want you guys to feel bad about that like you don't have to say sorry to me for that spirit has led me to make these videos and i put these videos out there for free for you guys and i don't want anyone to feel bad for receiving that it's here for you to receive it it's here for you to find help in it and so i'm happy for that to happen for those of you that it's resonating and it's beneficial please don't ever feel bad you guys please don't ever feel bad obviously i love doing the private readings i'm happy to do them but if you know you haven't been able to don't feel bad about that there's no reason to feel bad about that you don't have to say sorry to me um you know bless your heart just having you guys here watching subscribing clicking like on the videos commenting sharing it with other people who you think might be helped by it is a huge huge contribution that you're doing to me and to the channel and i appreciate it very much those of you who want to give more um i do have a teespring shop set up so if you want to treat yourself and get yourself a gift and then in turn also support the channel you can do that but you don't have to right if you see something and you like it and you want to have it for yourself then by all means go ahead or you want to treat yourself and book a private reading by all means, go ahead. But if you can't, or if this is not the right time for you to do that, don't feel bad. You know, I'm glad that you're watching the videos and I'm glad that they're helping those of you who they're helping. And I appreciate you being here. And I, I'm sending you all lots and lots of love, guys. I hope you have a fabulous week ahead. Take care.